Hi there, Guy from Bugs and Stuff here, and you find us in India. This time we're searching for a very special beetle, commonly called the Six Spot Domino Beetle. So why is it so special? Well, we're big beetle fans here at Bugs and Stuff, and over the years, domino beetles have featured in many of our displays and workshops. They're an active beetle, which makes them ideal for displays, so while in India, it was definitely one of our target species to find and film in the wild. They're carnivorous, preying on many different invertebrates including crickets, cockroaches, worms, caterpillars and other small arthropods. Let's watch this trio feeding on some mealworms. Note how they use their strong and very sharp mandibles to quickly dismember their prey. The domino beetle is a member of the Carabidae family an insect group which contains an impressive 40,000 species worldwide. One doesn't really need an explanation as to why this beetle gets its common name. Check out those characteristic white spots on a jet black background. Adults reach an average length of 5 cm and males and females are almost identical, making them difficult to tell them apart. They have excellent eyesight and can chase down their prey similar to tiger beetles. These flightless ground beetles have an unusual defence mechanism. They are able to squirt out formic acid when they feel threatened, causing burns to the skin and producing an extremely unpleasant smell to deter potential predators such as birds. They were once relatively common in the pet trade but their difficulty in breeding in captivity has led to them now being rather rare. In India they can be found on forested, rock-strewn hillsides consisting of mainly acacia scrub and smaller trees. Average temperatures when we visited in November and December were around 28 degrees Celsius during the day. In the past we always assumed that they were terrestrial in habit, but all of the ones we observed in the wild were found in trees, often many adults clustered together in the same space as this endoscope footage shows. They've always done well in communal setups in captivity, but after finding many occupying the same trees, we didn't realise just how communal they actually are. As males and females are difficult to tell apart, we can't say whether these are all males or all females, or a mixture of both. Another assumption we made was that they are mainly diurnal, or active during the day, but we never actually saw any out during the daytime. As you can see, an endoscope is an essential piece of kit when on a field trip, allowing you to easily see what exactly lives in these small spaces. A lot more wet and humid inside the tree, which again is a new discovery. In the past we always kept them in dry conditions, so maybe higher humidity is beneficial. We managed to extract a couple of individuals without any problems, and although they thankfully didn't spray their defensive acid, there was a definite smell of ammonia in the air. As you can see, they're excellent climbers and well suited to their arboreal lifestyle. If they were more terrestrial, as we first thought, they would have climbed down to the ground to seek safety. And obviously much more arboreal than I thought. I thought just terrestrial beetle, you know, running through the undergrowth. Especially out 
expected it to be knock uh, diurnal as well. But it seems the arboreal nocturnal. <laughs> Despite being top predators with formidable jaws, they tolerate handling quite well and bites are rare. Let's put these back where they belong. Successful breeding in captivity is almost unheard of and very little is known about their reproduction. The larvae are apparently predators of ants and their larvae, seeking out a nest after being laid in the soil. There is usually only one larva per nest, which is probably an indication that the larvae are cannibalistic as well. The largest individual we found was high up in a tree, hiding between branches and this time not inside the tree. An impressive beetle and certainly the biggest we've seen at around 7 centimetres in lifespan. Let's take a moment to enjoy this amazing and iconic Indian beetle. The domino beetle, a type of uh, tiger beetle, which is day active. As you can see, this is why this one's running around quite a lot. And that name domino beetle, for obvious reasons, it's got six white spots on a wonderful black background. So these are predatory beetles, meaning they'll hunt down their prey like a tiger. And obviously we're in India, so tiger is the perfect name for this type of predatory beetle. I've kept these on and off over the years. Uh, but I've never actually seen one this big. This is about at least twice the size of the regular domino, domino beetles that were imported for the pet trade. But it's brilliant for me, who was a big beetle fan, who has actually seen one now in its natural habitat. It's another one ticked off that bucket list. Filming done, let's release this one back onto the tree and on its way. <laughs> 